Sample problem number 1. A 1,000.0 kilogram is traveling at an acceleration of 4.5 thousand meter per second squared is. Find the net force needed to accelerate the track. Ang 1,000.0 kilogram na track ay naglalakbay sa bilis na 4,000 a uh, 4. Point 5,000 meter per second squared pa silangan. Hanapin ang net force na kailangan para bumilis ang truck. Given, acceleration is 4.5,000 meter per second is mass 1,000.0 kilogram. Find the force on the net force. Solution, so the formula is force is equal to mass acceleration. 1,000 point kilogram times 4.5 thousand meter per second squared is equal to 4,500.0 kilogram meter per second squared or 4,500.0 newton to the east. Napakadali lang ng ating gagawing pag-solve. Imubultiply lang natin yung force sa mass at acceleration. So, 1,000.0 kilogram times 4.5,000 meter per second squared is equal to 4,500.0 kilogram meter per second squared or 4,500.0 newton pasilangan. Sample problem number 2. A boy rolls a 200-gram baseball horizontally on the floor with a net force of 2 newton to the right. What is the acceleration of the baseball? Ang isang lalaki ay pinagulong ang 200 grams na baseball pa, pa horizontal sa sahig na may net force na 2 newton Kanan. Ano ang acceleration ng baseball? Given, force is equal to newton to the right. Mass is equal to 200 grams. Pag kinumbert natin siya sa kilogram, magiging 0. Point kilogram. Find acceleration. Solution? So the formula is force is equal to mass acceleration. Dinerive natin ang formula dahil ang hinahanap ay acceleration. So, ang formula ng acceleration is equal to force over mass. Since Newton is equivalent to kilogram meter per second squared, acceleration is equal to 10 meter per second squared to the right. Ayan. So, ito yung ibig sabihin yan. 2 kg, meter, ito yung ginamit natin is yung na-convert na natin into kg. 2 kg is equal to meter per second squared divide 0 0.2 kg. So, minansal natin yung parehas na unit which is the kg kaya ang natira ay meter per second squared. Number 3. A box is pushed with an applied force of 20 newton parallel to the floor. It is accelerated at 1.50 meter per second to the right. A parallel applied force of 10 newton on the opposite side slowed down the motion of the box, neglecting friction. What is the mass of the box? Ang isang kahon ay tinulak na nilagyan ng force ng 20 newton parallel sa sahig at ito ay may bilis na 1.50 meter per second pa kanan. Parallel na nilapat na force dito ay 10 newton sa magkaibang direction na nagpabagal sa paggalaw ng box. Ano ang mass ng box? Given 
acceleration is equal to 1.50 meter per second squared to the right. Force A is equal to 20 newton. Force B is equal to 10 newton. Find mass. Solution. To fully understand the problem, let us draw the figure and consider the horizontal forces that acts on the box. So, sa box, ito ang force A is equal to 20 newton. Direction of the motion of the acceleration is on, on, is on the opposite side. Acceleration is equal to 1.50 meter per second squared. The force B is negative 10 newton. So, pag pinagsama-sama natin, yung force is equal to net force. Net force is equal to 20 newton plus negative 10 newton is equal to positive 10 newton. So, force is equal to mass acceleration. Dederive natin siya. So, mass is equal to force over acceleration. So, paano ang pag-derive? Pwede kayong manood sa aking video kung paano ang isang technique para masolve ang mass at acceleration sa so force is equal to mass acceleration. Proceed na tayo sa ating solution. So, positive 10 is equal to mass which is 1.50 meter per second squared. Is equal to 10 kilogram meter per second squared divide 1.50 meter per second squared is equal to 6.67 kilogram. Minansal natin yung parehas na unit kaya ang natira ay kilogram. Kaya ang sagot natin sa mass is 6.67 kilogram na ang unit ng mass ay kilogram. Activity number 2. Solving problem. Problem number 1. A boy push horizontally a 3-point kilogram plastic chair across the slippery floor. If the acceleration of the plastic chair is 2.2 meter per second to the left, what is the net force exerted on the plastic chair? Isang lalaki ay tinulak horizontal ang plastic chair na may 3.5 kilogram sa madulas na sahig na may bilis ng 2.2 meter per second squared pakaliwa. Ano ang net force na na-exert doon sa plastic chair? So, isusulat ninyo kung naintindihan nyo ngayong ating lesson sa law of acceleration. Sulat ninyo kung ano ang mass sa problem, acceleration, at hanapin ang net force. So, ang formula natin sa net force or force is equal to mass acceleration. Problem number 2. The net external force on a cart is 350 newton north. If the cart has a total mass of 200 kg, what is the acceleration of the cart? Ang net force ng cart ay 350 newton pa north. Kung ang cart ay merong total mass na 200 kg, ano ang acceleration ng cart? Given, sulat nyo din kung ano yung given sa problem. Next is the force. Hanapin ang acceleration. Formula ng acceleration is equal to force over mass. So, isusolve ninyo yung dalawang problem dun sa law of acceleration. Law of interaction. The law of motion and the law of interaction which states that for every action, there is always an equal and opposite reaction. This law tells us that a force exerted on any object is always exerted back by an equal magnitude of force but in opposite direction. 
sa bawat action ay may proong kapantay na reaction pero pabaligtaran ng direction. Always remember that in this law, forces always come in pairs. These are called action and reaction forces. And they do not act on the same body. In determining the action and reaction forces, be able to identify first the action that requires force and then identify the reaction force that con counteracts the action force. Lagi natin tatandaan na sa law of interaction, o yung tinatawag natin na law of reaction, ay laging mayroong kasamang kapareho na force. Ito ay tinatawag natin na action at reaction. Pero hindi sila nag a sa parehong object. Sa pagtukoy, kung ano ang action at reaction, unahin muna natin i-identify kung tukuyin ang action na nangangailangan ng force. At para matukoy naman natin kung ano ang reaction, ito ay ang nag-interact o yung naging resulta sa ginawang action force. Example, when the body pushes the wall, the wall exerts an equal and opposite magnitude of force to the boy. So, ang action dito sa picture ay ang pagtulak ng lalaki sa pader. Dahil nag-exert siya ng force para matulak niya yung pader. At ang reaction naman ay ang na-exert niya na force na naging opposite sa direction ng force ng lalaki. Another example is a horse pulling a kalesa. The kalesa pulls an equal and opposite magnitude of force towards the horse. Ang, ang action ay ang horse pulling a kalesa. Dahil nag exert yung kabayo sa paghila sa kalesa. At ang reaction naman ay ang resulta ng paghila ng kabayo doon sa kalesa. Na gumagalaw sa magkaibang direction. Dito naman tayo sa activity number 3. Identify the law of motion that applies in each situation. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. So here, gagawin ninyo, ilalagay ninyo kung ano ang types of mo laws of motion na ay binibigay sa situation. Number 1, Throwing garbage on the river would go back to the community during the flood season. 2. It is easier to push an empty shopping cart than a loaded one. 3. The baseball is thrown into the air after being hit by the bat. 4. When walking your foot pushes the ground backward and the ground pushes your foot, a runner who reaches the finish line which continue running for some time. Thank you for listening tong end ng ating lesson. Sana ay may naintindihan kayo sa aking itinurong lesson. Maraming salamat.